Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Breve with Sergio. I'm super happy to be here today. We are doing, again, this special edition of the show uh, as we are connecting with artists from around the world who are right now also going through this season of quarantine or staying indoor, you know, because everything that's happening around with coronavirus. And today I have my good friend uh, Flavia Tessa here joining us from the northern part of Italy. She's located between Milan and Turin. And uh, we're going to have a great conversation on how she is dealing with the situation. Uh, Flavia, welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, Sergio. I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm doing quite well, considering. No, all good. Excellent. Well, super happy to have you here. I see that it's a beautiful sunny day in Italy today. It's gorgeous and you can't, you can't beat the weather. So that's, that's a point in our quarantine favor. The sun's shining. It's a beautiful day and it's really nice. Right. Well, uh, Flavia, we're here to uh, hear a little bit from you of, you know, the things that have been going on, particularly where you are at in the northern part of Italy, where, where you know, it became one of the hot spots in the last few days, as uh, we all saw in the news. And then also you have been very active in your uh, social media, sharing videos and letting us know updates on how things looking, which I really appreciate. I have to tell you, I really appreciate that. Uh, from this part of the world because you know you watch the news and sometimes you know you don't know exactly how much exaggeration the sure. news may be doing and so on but hearing it from people that we know that we trust that are in the ground you know giving us updates has been really valuable to us and help us prepare as well uh, to others because this as it continues to expand um, you know it's good to hear from those who have been there as well and uh, thank you again for for doing those updates I really appreciate it uh, my pleasure well, uh, as well as, uh, you know, we see you often uh, in, the, in the academy, in the Annex Level Academy, and, uh, you know, we really appreciate what you are doing for artists. So tell us a little bit about uh, how is the situation there right now? You guys have been on quarantine for how long? Has it been two? We weeks? are officially on quarantine day nine today. So it's been nine days that the government has pleaded for the population to absolutely stay home because that okay. seems to be the only way that the quarantine and the virus seems to quell and yeah. some people take it seriously and some people don't and so they're still struggling to make people understand that really staying home and avoiding contact with others is mm -hmm. the best form of not of not spreading the virus to others mm -hmm. so that's where we are now and truth be told i was already in the house before okay. because i was madly working on artwork so i've actually probably been in lockdown for 10 days before that so okay. i don't know I don't see the time going by because I think like most artists, we like to tend to hide alone in our little studios or whatever we right. have set up. So it's not a huge problem, um, but it certainly has heightened the importance of having an online presence mm -hmm. and getting in front of your people. Mm -hmm. That's something that um, it, it's interesting because I actually shut down my studio in Nova Scotia where we talked in our former right. little talk. Mm -hmm. And I moved to Italy with nothing. I literally brought a suitcase with all my art supplies okay. and paper, and that's it. And I said, I don't really need all the rest of the stuff. I do have a home where I can land. So yeah. I actually, I've pared down already compared to other people. So I'm really just sort of stuck here with the few art supplies that I have, paper yeah. and pens and a little bit of paint. So I'm making the best of my circumstances. Today, I tried to order uh, stuff online. I have no idea if that's going to get to me because as of this morning, they're saying that even couriers may be put on suspension for the crisis. So we shall see. So now as we are staying home, right, how you as an artist uh, have been dealing with it? You know, uh, what are you working on? How have you adapted to this kind of con uh, confinement for the time being? That's a great question, and I have adapted to confinement by doing more confinement, which I was already used to. So uh, <laughs> something that I have to say is that I signed up for the business challenge. So I had already gone through all your modules of the business challenge, and that has led me to do a lot more work on the, say, business side that I was preparing on doing for the beginning of the year. Okay. And that also challenged me to look a lot better on my online platforms to see what the heck I was doing. And by really picking everything apart, I realized that 
yes, I was listening, but I wasn't acting on the things that you were saying. And that is something that when you're busy and when you're rushing and when you're doing all that, you think, oh yeah, check, just check it off, check it off. I've done it. And then you go back and you, you know, it takes about 15 times to look with your eyes to see that either you've misspelled something or that your, for example, your profile uh, bio on my Instagram. I think I changed that 15 times after I watched your little video. And now I think I'm happy with it. So a lot of yeah. tweaking of things that I normally maybe would not pay attention to. That's something I've been doing. And I have decided for the time being to continue with the challenge in terms of the work because the format mm -hmm. uh, for the times that we're living in is really working. And by that, I mean that I started the uh, art challenge before doing mail art. Yeah. And given the circumstances, I'm continuing to do mail art. And I have so many orders right now coming through from Facebook and Instagram that wow. I, I'm swamped. I'm that's, swamped. And that's, uh, that's, so that's, that's really great. good news. So just, I, I decided not to, I was going to do paintings in larger format, but because right. of the coronavirus, I've decided that the best way for my uh, collectors to receive my art is through the mail because mm -hmm. that's the, the least amount of contact that one can have with everything. Mm -hmm. And it's also the fastest because for now, the mail system is still working as our couriers. And I say that for now because I don't know if that's going to change. Right. So that's been really nice. And from that, I have done videos. So I opened an IGTV channel, which I didn't okay. have before. And that has, I mean, I have so many views on that thing. I had no idea, but it really does work. And that has fostered interest on my Instagram channel in terms of sales, which I wasn't getting before. Before I was yeah. getting views, but mm -hmm. I was getting more of my sales on Facebook. So now I'm also getting... Uh, some some good foothold and some hot leads on my on my IG, so that's great. And that's so that's of, because I'm in lockdown. I wouldn't yeah. other otherwise. I wouldn't. I would probably have gone to painting like bigger right. format. Right. And you are in lockdown, and also thousands and thousands of other people who you know every day they're doing this and you yeah. know going and looking. And yeah, it is true. You know, it is affecting the economy and so forth. But at the end of the it day, really you know people also want to support others there's good people out there who are buying and uh you know this idea that oh nobody's gonna buy any art anymore you know it's not true right people, there's, i don't think it's true there, there's still people who have this uh, disposable income um and uh, they want to participate and if we as artists like you said you know if we have the the things prepared and we know what we're doing and uh, we have a plan and a strategy um That's right. you know, we can we can um work through this right now this uh season uh in which we are, are all kind of in something totally new because just uh, you know a few months ago i think nobody put in their uh new uh, new year's resolution you know overcome the coronavirus <laughs> no was, i don't think nope, back then not we, on the radar. we only saw it in the news somewhere far away we never thought you know it would affect us in in just day by day things are changing so quickly but the 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 spirit of the artist and the creative to get up and say well there's got to be something i can do and it's exactly what you're doing that's why i love these stories that we're sharing through these episodes because uh, artists like you are finding a way to connect with people to instead that's of uh me. caving and saying you know the the sky is falling it's like let's get up yeah. let's bring the the, uh, the uh, creative spirit and let's connect with people and when you do that they respond in amazing ways because you also have something to offer, like you said, that is easy to ship, easy to send, it's a price point that is manageable. And then, you know, all those people, now they're following you. Once we all go past this corona, now you have also a whole new set of people that own your work that you can continue connecting with. And who knows, you know, maybe some of them will eventually come back and buy the bigger paintings that you'll be working with. I absolutely think that's going to happen. And I'm always one of people who says never miss an opportunity. So this is a huge opportunity yeah. for everybody who said that online art sales couldn't happen. And every one of us 
has a circle like we've talked about before that every one of us has a circle then there's an outer circle and then after that there's another circle yeah. so now is also a time where you can really develop those relationships by dming people by mm -hmm. phoning people by getting in touch and saying hey do you i have sent a ton of free online digital artwork to people yeah. just saying hey know you're know you might be feeling anxious here's a piece of art to get your morning going that's amazing and that is also part of the role of the artist it's not just this thing of of having a monetary right thing happen it doesn't have to be a monetary exchange the role of the artist also in times of crisis or in trouble is also to be a kind of beacon where people can turn to you and go, you know, I don't want to turn the TV on. I don't want to hear any more bad news. I don't want to hear mm -hmm. whatever it is, but I'd like to, I'd like to turn to somebody who, who can just give me some peace and quiet for a minute. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's the role of the artist in, in these kind of difficult situations. So yeah. th this is a perfect time to be able to really hone in on those two or 300 people that we all have connected to us. And rather than spreading the coronavirus, spread them some art. A lot better. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you for that. You have been so awesome today, like usual, so helpful as well to our community. Can you please share where our friends can find you both on Instagram and on your website? And for we have been also, as we chatted, we've been also showing your artwork. So our friends also who may like to uh, purchase from you. So where can they find you on Instagram and, and your... Uh... They can find me at uh, Flavia Testa International is my Instagram handle or Flavia Testa Outsider on Facebook or just Flavia Testa also on Facebook and Flavia Testa on my LinkedIn page where you will find articles that I write mm -hmm. about art and around the news that is coming out these days. Um, yeah, you can find me there and look it up. I also have a website, www.flaviatesta.com, just if you want to see a gallery. And that's where you can find me. Awesome. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, please give a big, uh, a big hello to all our uh, friends and artists, art community over there in the northern part of Italy as well. Thank you for I being will. here. Thank you for sharing. And of course, thank Stay you safe. to all our Thank you. Thank you to all our friends watching today. Stay creative, be safe, follow uh, the instructions. And of course, please share this episode with your friends. That will make us really, really happy. So have a great day, my friends. Thank Bye. you.